Diego State game, there were some stretches where he struggled, but some stretches you actually played pretty good defense? There was, uh, yeah, then some that we just were struggling right now in the secondary to make a play in coverage. Uh, in the first half, we blitzed him a little bit, but we didn't make plays in the second in the coverage, so we have to be a little bit safer and give them some help in coverage, which makes you a little bit softer against the run. You don't have as many guys in the box, so you're trying to help them out. Um, probably should have blitzed them all the whole second half because that last fourth quarter, when they were trying to run the ball, they, they, we were getting guys in the backfield and, and making plays. And the third down, I don't know if you can see that on tape or not, I mean, if he was inbounds or not, but the play we should make, we're still making too many assignment errors. Is the, we come out of coverage one time, but we're going to get a sack, and Jalen comes out of coverage, they throw it. Uh, there was another one, and the, they completed a, we can get them, knock them to the backfield for about a 12, 13 yard loss, don't make the tackle. And then we have a corner come up and just miss. I mean, we can't miss those. That's going to be third and 10, maybe even, maybe, maybe even further. So we're, we're making some critical errors on third down. It's the difference between winning and losing games right now. I mean, that's a give, give Washington credit. They're a good football team, but we let one slip away that we shouldn't have. Is it tough not sending more pressure, the balance between that and, and trying to have more, more coverage? My personality, yes, because I think it makes us more aggressive when we're the aggressor, we're better. When when we're struggling though in coverage, we'll give up 100 points if we don't slow them down. So you get into a little bit of a mentality of the, don't give up a big play. And they, they're able to drive the ball a little bit. To get them to learn more, maybe we should take more chances and, and we'll evaluate that this week. Uh, I mean, because we took more chances at the end of the fourth quarter and they couldn't move the ball anymore. Uh, we're putting more guys in there. I, now, you give them credit. They did a really good job early with some of our movements. Stunt. They had their running back be really, really patient. Usually when you do that, you'll have a safety or somebody fly through behind them and knock them, in the, knock them freaking sideways before that. But we're not quite aggressive enough yet. So that'll be uh, still a work in progress. We'll continue to get that. So the next time that – and we'll be able to show them on tape. The next time they try and teach somebody to slow down, slow down, Somebody ought to come and wring their neck and break it. Hit them hard. <laughs> Do you feel like some of the penalties you guys took actually were that aggressiveness or a lack of intensity? No, I think we're still making mistakes on. I mean, I think both those penalties are are uncalled for. I mean, I think Jalen's was too late. And I think uh, Chase is too late. I want them guys to run over there and try and get every piece they can and, and play on the verge. But that's not smart. We need to. I want you have to be able to do both. And that time of the game. Uh, I mean, they, they score, they end up scoring on Jalen's uh, because in the, the touchdown call, we don't have a contained guy. That's my fault. That's not theirs. We were doing some stuff to stop the run. Uh, the late one on Chase at the very end there, I mean, it probably doesn't make a difference in the game because they're going to be able to run out the clock, but it can, and we need to be better because I don't, I don't think those are taken away from us being aggressive. I think we're trying to, we're still trying to learn how to play that way. I thought early on we did pretty good. I mean, the first play of the game is the interception. We should score a touchdown off that, but the offense did a great job. And the offense did a great job tonight. I mean, 170 some yards rushing. We can beat a lot of people if we continue to do that and we get some more stops. I mean, we we just let them we let them score there in the second half on that the they had two drives, a couple field goals, and then the touchdown drive. And the touchdown drive, we get down by 14 instead of being a one possession game. We've got a we have a couple chances on that drive on third downs that we make critical errors that we've got to we've got to fix. And if we fix those, we'll be pretty good. If we don't fix them, we're gonna end up with scenarios like this. What, what did you attribute those to primarily? Uh, a couple of them are, are true freshmen, not understanding the situation. And then by the time, I mean, they got good players too. We got beat on a we got beat on a vertical route. Mm -hmm. It's a play we got to make. We're sending pressure. We get pressure on the quarterback. He let go over right away. We know the ball's coming out quick. We got to make a play. I mean, they're going to make some plays too, but we got to make, it's happening right now. They're making more than we are. We want to be as good as we want to be. We got to make a play every now and once in a while. The corners I thought Chase and Colby did a pretty nice job in coverage. Um, Taron almost had an interception there at the end of the half. Chase, I mean Colby almost had an interception. Chase did. Uh, we're struggling a little bit right now. Safety, uh, making plays in coverage. Uh, a little bit too soft in zone. So those guys catch it in front of us and we tackle them and they get first downs. And we're not quite good enough in man coverage right now to make plays. Now, the way we can help them with that is we can blitz more guys and you send seven. They can't protect it. Hopefully, you can make a play. I mean, I think one night we did 10-7 on one. We didn't make play coverage. So, 
we'll give them some ideas and we'll continue to play hard. The best thing that I'm gonna take out of this is I walk in the locker room, you got a bunch of pissed off guys. I was worried I was gonna walk up in there and think they got a moral victory. There ain't no moral victories around here. We're, our goal is to win the Pac-12 championship, not just the South, the championship. We, 